It's obviously exciting. It's something that I think, um, you know, when Mark decided he wanted to retire, that it was, it just kind of made sense. Um, you know, I've been here six years and, and been around both programs. And so I think it made sense to, uh, you know, for me to take over as, as director over both programs. Um, you know, we, we now have more of a staff than we've ever had with Jacob and Emily coming aboard, um, you know, in terms of just, just coverage and, and a flexibility and, and just, it gives us a lot more options to do things that we've just have never done in the past. I mean, in the past it was, you know, myself doing the guys and Mark doing the girls. And so now we, with three of us covering both programs and, and even having Mark still around part-time, um, you know, we really have four coaches for two programs, which is, which is a benefit. Jacob runs a lot of our day-to-day -day stuff for the girls team. Um, he has been helping Mark for the last probably three to four years with the girls program. And so I just felt like it was a perfect fit to have him, you know, on a day-to-day basis, you know, oversee that. Um, you know, and Emily, you know, same thing. We, we, we you know, she assists both programs. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so much more familiar with the guys, obviously, with recruiting all of them. And so, you know, this year we're kind of a little bit more what we've done in the past. Um, I'll travel with the girls, you know, recruiting-wise. Um, the guys and girls is very different in terms of where our recruits come from. Um, and so that's something that we're all kind of getting, you know, um, up to speed on and, and trying to really overhaul. Um, and so we're all three, you know, doing both programs um, on a daily basis. It's something that is is really new. I think in my six years, I've had one transfer. And so this is, um, you know, this is a first with, with the women obviously having two. Um, with Claire and Leonore coming aboard, um, you know, that's that's something that just has not happened before. Um, and then on the guys' side, we have a graduate transfer, uh, William Karpinski, who played at JMU. Um, and so, yeah, we, I mean, three basically impact players um, as transfers. It's just, it's just something that we just haven't had um, the opportunity to do in the past. And, and the transfer portal has obviously um, created this. And I think it's it's going to benefit us with Richmond being such a good academic school. I think kids are drawn to Richmond now with with us having more resources than we've ever had. I think our expectations and our um, our goals are bigger. Um, you know, we want Richmond tennis to be on the national scene, and, and we want to take you know Richmond to the big leagues in the sense of who we're playing, and you know just you know you, you look at the schedules is it you know guys are opening up with uva girls are you know playing i think three acc schools in the next month and and so you know you look at that as a perfect example of where we want to get to and and so both programs are we have some some big some big things that we're doing um and our goals are, are big and and i think we have the athletes and the program and the university obviously to do it